Alrighty, welcome to the Right Tarantulas YouTube. Uh, my name is AJ. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just be showing you how you can basically turn some cheap, cheap Tupperware that you find at the store um, into wonderful enclosures. I got some uh, ones that would be good for larger arboreals. Um, this one could either be terrestrial or fossorial. Um, this one it would be for your, some of your smaller fossorial ones just because of how deep it is. It's not quite deep enough to get enough substrate in there. But this one you could definitely put a, uh, probably, a, you know, like a juvenile um, fossorial in this. Just kind of fill it up to about here with dirt. Um, but I'm going to take you to, through some steps that I do about uh, making up some some of these cages here. I got quite a few, so we probably won't go through all of them, but I'll at least try to make uh, one of each. Um, I'm kind of give you the process that I use. Uh, I do use a soldering iron. Now, <clears throat> these are available pretty much at any of your hardware stores. Uh, I do work in the automotive industry, so I have access to different kinds of uh, tools. <clears throat> I do have some water for dampening the substrate once I get everything built and uh, get my decorations in there. I do have um, some other things like scissors just in case I need it. Um, but uh, being that said, let's get this all warmed up here and uh, get that going. Shouldn't take too long for this to get warmed up. Now you do have to be conscious that it is warm once you get it turned on because you can definitely burn yourself pretty good. This gets us to about 2,000 to 2,200 degrees. Um, so you definitely have to be cautious of that, uh, especially with any soldering gun. It doesn't matter if it's cheap or expensive. Uh, they're all gonna get extremely hot and you just have to be extra careful and you have to mind that it is, uh, it can give you severe burns. So now you don't have to get one like this. It is a, a butane. Um, electric one that plugs into the wall is perfectly fine. Um, you just have to be careful where you set it down. Like I, I keep moving it because I don't want it to burn my <laughs> my Mister bottle there. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess while it's warming up, we could go through some of the different options I have for misting and stuff. So I use this primarily on smaller tees, or if my tarantulas have already gotten their um, their big weekly. Um, watering that I do. Uh, some tarantulas need a little bit more humidity than others so I'll just go through uh, a second time during the week and I'll, sp I'll spray that. It's not a real harsh spray. Um, they kind of they tend to be pretty bolty and flighty uh, and it can stress them out quite a bit if you do spray it on them. So uh, I went with something that doesn't spray nearly as hard. It's got a fairly soft spray to it so it doesn't freak them out too much. Um, but let's see just how warm this is. Alright. Looks like she's doing pretty good. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I'm not going to make it perfect, but basically our goal is to just kind of poke holes in the side of the cage. Um, now, they're probably going to be like all over the place. It's kind of hard to get a straight line, but I mean, if you're a perfectionist, then I'm sure you'll figure out ways. Now I'm not going to go in a straight line. I'm going to do a diagonal one just because it kind of holds some of the imperfections and then it also gives a little bit of character to it. So we'll go ahead and poke the first hole here. Boop. There's one and two and three. And one thing I do want you to know is that if you're not in a very ventilated area, this can give off uh, some fumes. So if you have certain animals, uh, I know birds um, generally have uh, sensitive breathing. So you just have to be careful if you have any birds in the house. Melted plastic can uh, hurt them and it can also uh, cause them to get very sick. Okay, so you do have to be mindful of that. Now, I'm gonna do this real fast. I'm gonna turn this off just because I don't want a whole lot of fumes in here and then we can warm it up later. Now I use a soldering gun uh, just because the soldering gun, kind of get that 
out of here, disperse a few things. Uh, you do want to be in a pretty good ventilated area, of course, but I do use a soldering gun uh, for heat wise to melt the plastic. Now it does create the fume, like I said, but what this does is it keeps from having a bunch of sharp edges. If you were to poke a hole or stab one without any kind of heat, instead of melting the plastic, all you're doing is you're crudely, crudely making a hole. And what this does is it gives a better, um, kind of just a better surface. Uh, so your tees are a little bit safer, especially with some that are terrestrial or fossorial. If they ever do decide to climb the side of your cage, um, they don't get extremely hurt. Um, we don't want we don't want them to open themselves up or anything like that and then cause a panic you know so that's why i use um the heat to make holes now you can see i just got simple holes all the way around uh, you can put holes in the lid here um for this particular cage i probably won't uh just because i know what's going to go in here um but with like some of your fossorial you also have to think um with some of these holes being lower, that's fine. Uh, now, you, dirt might come out of here, right, when you fill it up, but that's okay. Sometimes it's pretty good, and sometimes tarantulas do like it whenever they can get a little bit of air through the dirt, because maybe sometimes when they make their tunnel, the hole is perfectly lined up with where they made the tunnel. And so that gives them an air pocket, and it kind of lets, um, lets it breathe a little bit and so it it doesn't hurt to have some lower air holes or anything like that uh the only thing you have to worry about is a little bit of dirt getting out so that is one um now i will with this one i will do it a little bit different uh just to kind of give you a better idea i do also have an idea on what i'm going to be putting in this so a little bit of top ventilation will be fine it is a terrestrial so um they don't need it ex this particular terrestrial doesn't need it extremely um, humid in their cage um, but what uh, what it does need is that it needs some a little bit more um, airflow so let's get this warmed up a little bit here and if you hear some squeaking that's the chair I'm on I'll be getting a new one here probably within the next month but just bear with me it is a little uh, it's a little loud and squeaky so but we will get after it here get this done real quick like i said it doesn't really matter if the holes are real low right we just need some holes just like that see i cracked i cracked the cage which which is fine you just got to be careful with how much pressure you put on there um this thing wasn't quite as hot as i wanted it to be but i want to get this done quickly so i don't have a hour long video um but yeah i'm just gonna get it done here did it again push way too hard that's what you gotta be careful of now with the lid doesn't really matter how you do it boom boom i'm just gonna do lines for now maybe the next one will be a little bit different but for right now this will be fine all righty now we'll get a few more here in the middle um now there you go that is how you make this cage and like i said um as you can see right here there's a little crack here now that's not going to affect anything now, all it did is it made a little bit of a sharper edge which before i put anything in here um as i'm going through i'll i'll scrape that down I'll, i won't make that uh i won't leave that like it is but there's another crack here so on some of them, yeah, the plastic is a little bit, a little bit thinner. Now these are cheaper bowls, of course. So um, you are going to run into some of that sometimes. But if you do get a crack like that on them, don't freak out or anything. It'll be fine. Um, and if you wanted to feel a little safer, you could get some silicone or even just some super glue and just run it across there. Just make sure you do that before you put any dirt in there or put any kind of animals in there uh, because super glue or silicone can let off a fume and if you don't give it time for the chemical to disperse it can possibly injure your tarantula okay so there are two we got a terrestrial oh no sorry terrestrial and um you got a fossorial one here now i'll put these here so this one 
This one is going to be a good arboreal cage. Now, with arboreals, they like cross ventilation. So what we're going to do is I'm probably just going to do a line, um, line all the way around this cage of, of holes, maybe five or six per line, you know, and we'll do quite a few of them. And I will even put a little bit of holes on the on, in the lid just because they, they need all the ventilation they can. This is thicker plastic. This is a different, um, it's a little bit, a little bit better uh, kind of plastic than what those other containers were. So this one, um, I, I'm gonna need more holes just because it probably won't breathe as well as like that plastic will. Uh, it doesn't let a whole lot of stuff slip. So we'll go ahead and get this going, get it all heated up. And then this will probably be the last one that we do today, but I do want to give you kind of just kind of an idea on how I do a few of my cages. Um, I did find this at, um, we have Fred Meyer around where I live, so I ran in there and they had a sale going on, so I grabbed up some of these. The other cages, I got a pack of seven for like eight bucks um, at uh, a discount store. Uh, it's called Marshall's. Uh, you could also go to your local uh, Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. Um, uh, they have plenty of other. They have plenty of containers there themselves. Uh, they also have storage bins that have locking lids that you can get uh, that are cheap. That's only a buck. Um, but you can pretty much do what I'm doing with a lot of um, your Tupperware. Just make sure that uh, if you still live with your parents, don't use theirs. <laughs> I would definitely go out and just get your own um, because your parents might have some some possible issues with that um, unless you ask for permission and they let you do it um, but yeah there's all kinds of different ways you can do containers because I know cages nowadays um, for pet stores they get kind of hard to get and they're also pretty expensive so um, so just kind of giving yourself different options is always a plus now we'll get going on this now we might do this a little bit slower just so I don't crack this one because this one is thicker plastic so I just want to be extra cautious. Now, like I said, I'm just going to do up and down holes, you know, probably about five, six of them. I want to try to get six. Uh, if you go low, it's fine. This is an arboreal cage, like I said. Um, so it's not a big deal. They're not going to be hanging down at the bottom a whole awful lot. If they are, they're either going down to get a drink or uh, possible humidity or um, or temperatures aren't quite right in the cage themselves and so you might want to just kind of look into that um, with where I keep all my tarantulas uh, we have a little reptile room here in our house that uh, we keep all of our animals in the same room and luckily for me um, my significant other uh, they have uh, chameleons so the heat lamps and the lights and stuff kind of keep things a little warmer in the room and so it, it definitely helps uh, keep everything a little bit better but some people don't have that luxury I definitely am pretty new to this luxury myself um, when I first started in the hobby uh, I didn't have that so you definitely have to make sure your temperatures are right your humidity in your room is right um, and if your tarantulas are pretty active, that means you're doing something pretty right. Um, unless they get too active and they're trying to get away from their cage. Now they can, they have, they do have signs that they will show you about that. But um, so far, it's basically like if a tarantula hangs out at the top of their cage and they're a terrestrial tarantula, um, then it's probably best that you kind of figure out what what's going on, what's wrong. And then we'll poke a few holes in here. Boom, boom. Boom. And then one here in the middle. Just kind of five holes. Don't need a lot at the top. Um, most of your ventilation is going to be needed throughout the body of this uh, arboreal cage. Now, like you, like you see, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, holes aren't perfect. They're definitely not perfectly gapped. This one's pretty crooked, but it doesn't matter. Um, as long as you get air to your uh, to your tarantulas, that's what matters. 
Uh, it doesn't have to be pretty or gorgeous or anything like that. It's, you can you can make up for this part of the job with the decor and the way you set up your cage. So yeah, um, this is gonna be all that I have. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea on what I usually try to do. Um, I definitely want to keep it up, keep things new, different um, with what I use. Um, but I mean, you can use all this stuff. This stuff, I think I spent a total of maybe 25 bucks on everything. And I have uh, nine cages that I can have. Um, and so it's, it doesn't have to be a super expensive hobby. Uh, it can be a fairly affordable hobby, uh, but maybe later down in life, like me, at some point I'm going to be trying to replace all my cages with better cages that look similar and stuff like that. So um, there are different cages. Critter keepers work fine uh, for certain tarantulas. Um, I wouldn't recommend them necessarily for our arboreal tarantulas just because they do like to be up a little higher. Something long like this one kind of tall uh, probably is best for them um, critter keepers don't have a whole lot of cross ventilation either um, but it'd be good for a terrestrial or a fossorial uh, tarantula and so I mean I have a couple of my tarantulas that are in um, critter keepers and they seem to be doing great now they are fossorial and terrestrial so I, I just don't feel comfortable putting my arboreals in um, critter keepers. But um, yeah, I think this wraps up the video for me. Uh, I kind of got an idea on how I like to do things now. Um, there will be some, I uh, will be releasing some other videos, but um, until then, stay tuned. Thanks for um, joining me today. And if you wanna watch this video, uh, if you watched it, um, thank you uh, for your support. I just kind of do this stuff for fun. Um, this is my hobby. I love tarantulas. So uh, thank you, and I hope to see you next time.